Hello everyone. Um, this is the super duper Raspberry Pi picture frame. Um, I call it super duper because it does more than just show pictures. It, uh, let's start out with uh, how I built it. Um, I found this picture frame at a second hand store for $3.99. I took the driver board out and ordered one that was compatible. Luckily I, I found one I that was compatible or a picture frame that had a driver board that was compatible. I stuck a Model A in it. Here's the driver board. It just it takes VGA and video. Um, there, there, I, I keep finding picture frames at secondhand stores but I uh, don't always find one that you can find a, a driver board for. Um, this one was about 27. It, uh, it wouldn't have fit the Model B, B plus or, or 2. It just didn't have the room. Um, that way, that's why I put the, here, let me try to move that over, the A plus. It's not as great, kind of slower, boots a little slow. This driver board took a 5 volt along with the LCD screen, so it, I just tapped off of that for the power of the Pi. I bought a little uh, adapter there for and spliced it into the video adapter. Um, I'm going to button this up and show you. I hooked in a, you can see um, a little header there on top of the Pi. It has a temperature sensor wired in and that's on the outside of the frame. And I'll tell you where is it, where a bad idea to put it is because that's where I put it. All right. Okay. Um, it's got its buttons there to toggle power and change inputs for the driver to the VGA if you wanted. But there's the temperature sensor. It reads probably at five, six degrees higher than it should because of where I placed it. I should have put it on the edge somewhere, as far away as possible from the screen driver and the Pi. It just to our arm where it's at, but I, I clumped on the, the glue, so so you can't, uh, it's not going to be easy for me to remove. I'll just snap this together. Okay, um, got my power supply here difference between this this uh, pie frame idea um, and others is this one has a WebSocket server. 